I would think uh, you know the MSMEs uh, in the chemical space have been facing uh, four or five challenges. Uh, when the COVID struck, uh, you know, as sometime in February, March, uh, 2020, uh, it caught many uh, you know men, uh, you know companies uh, unawares. Uh, so uh, there was this lockdown, and immediately demand also slumped, and uh, they are facing huge liquidity you know related issues. And uh, uh, many of the customers were also going through financial stress and working capital cycle was getting elongated. So funding was a very big challenge for MSMEs uh, in the first quarter of the previous financial year, that is April to you know, June 2020. But by the time government uh, realized the uh, uh, fact that not only MSMEs, even bigger companies uh, you know, uh, also, were, all, were also going through financial stress. And it was very important uh, you know, for them to uh, pump, pump the economy. So various fiscal measures and monetary measures were put in place. Uh, through that, uh, liquidity uh, was infused into the system. And also uh, there was this loan, loan moratorium which was given for almost six months that gave a big breather to many of the companies. Uh, and even after that also, uh, you know, the companies could go for one-time restructuring. Uh, and also uh, uh, RBI uh, through banking system introduced this ECLGS funding wherein uh, up to 20% of the existing, you know, uh, fund-based facilities, uh, they were getting additional uh, uh, facilities, which could be repaid over four to five years. So because of all these extraordinary measures from the government side, uh, you know, the industry was able to limp back to normalcy. So by that time, you know, uh, lockdown uh, was gradually lifted and demand environment also, uh, you know, improved gradually. So depending on what kind of customers, what kind of industries, you know, you are dealing with, uh, we could see different kinds of recovery for MSMEs. That was on the funding side. Otherwise, uh, supply chain was another issue, you know, that, that we could, you know, uh, clearly observe. Uh, you know, since many of these companies uh, were relying on imported sources, you know, there was this time when, uh, uh, you know, availability of raw material, uh, you know, from China was impacted in a big way. So supply chain efficiencies have been impacting, you know, the industry uh, for quite some time. Uh, while some companies have come out of that, but still, uh, I believe, uh, uh, late, we're also looking at uh, container shortage and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, the shipping free trade has gone up substantially, and the availability of raw material is also an issue for some of the uh, uh, companies. So while funding has come back to normalcy, and uh, demand environment also has come back to normalcy, uh, still, you know, supply chain is one issue. Uh, on the labor side, uh, we you know we observed uh, you know big uh, you know constraints, especially in the uh, first quarter of uh, previous year. You know we saw migration of labor to rural areas uh, that also impacted the labor-intensive part of MSC business. Uh, but in the second wave, we see a big change. Uh, you know the labor availability has not been an issue uh, because of the uh, extraordinary measures taken by various MSMEs. Uh, you know, they uh, went the extra mile to ensure that uh, labor, uh, you know, all the important, you know, uh, people were protected. Uh, so uh, they went the extra mile even in ensuring that you know, they got the vaccination done and so on and so forth. So because of these confidence boosting measures, uh, labor part of the uh, constraints went away, I would think, in, in COVID-2. Uh, but as of when we are discussing the issue now, I would think the primary concern would be on the, uh, on the, uh, the export demand side because of this uh, you know, container related issues. And uh, to some extent, some MSMEs are still struggling with the funding. Uh, bankers are somewhat choosy in funding to these uh, companies. So uh, companies which are doing well, who uh, have a good, good track record with the banking system, they're getting funding. But companies who have you know, uh, missed the payment, uh, they are struggling to get uh, desired funding. So that is where you know the other measures taken by the government as part, part of the Arpa Nirbar package uh, through, you know, by giving this uh, subordinated loan or equity infusion, uh, through NSIC. So these are the measures uh, which are yet to percolate to the ground level. So once uh, we see some traction on that, I believe MSMEs will be able to come out of this uh, slump in, uh, in output.